Um, my name is Tamika Davis. I'm a Triple Diamond. I've been with the company almost six years now, which is just crazy to say. Um, but prior to doing this, I was a high school math teacher. And so one of the things that I thought about when I first started this business was I don't want to lose money. Like if I'm going to do a business like this, I am not ever going to come out in the negatives because being a math teacher, nobody likes negative numbers. I was like, I am never going to come out in the negatives of, of doing this business. And so I need to figure out how to make money. And so that was one of the first things I did um, after I got started and was like, whoa, you can actually make money with this business. Then I went through, I read the compensation plan. And ever since I was paid as distributor, um, I really dove into what preliminary commissions mean, what it means in your e-suite when you click on that commissions tab, what it means when you transfer the money over into your bank account and all of the things, okay? So um, I just need to know from you guys, this call is for you as far as if you have specific questions that you want me to go over as far as how we get paid, um, all that stuff, go ahead and write them in the chat. Otherwise, I will just start kind of at the very beginning, and as questions pop up, I just want you to ask them. There's no dumb question. Um, I'm here for you. I have 30 minutes to give of all of my knowledge of the compensation plan, which isn't a lot of time, but it'll be enough to kind of get you guys at least from distributor to diamond income and understanding how it works, okay? So um, if you are here, and I'm gonna say it like this, I wanna see your faces, I want your cameras on, that way I can connect with you. Um, and then write in the chat if, um, write in the chat what your highest paid rank is. Will you do that for me real quick? What your highest paid rank is, that way I can see kind of what, what we're dealing with. And Courtney, you're driving, so you don't have to type if you don't want to, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so distributor, distributor, double, distributor, distributor. Okay, perfect. So mostly distributors. So um, you guys, like I said, this is when I first learned about it because I joined this business to make money not to lose money. And so I needed to know as a distributor how I was gonna increase my paycheck. So you guys are at, or here at the right place at the right time, okay? So um, first thing I want you guys to do is, um, let's talk about where the, where the money comes from. So we get paid three different ways, okay? You can literally get money in your bank account three different ways. The first way is through product cash, okay? You can sell coffee samplers, that is money in your pocket, um, technically you're supposed to claim it on taxes if it's over $600. So it's important to keep track of that product cash, but that is cash in your pocket. You can make money as much as you want. I know there was a girl, um, at one time in my business, I don't know if she's still doing it, but she was making enough in wrap cash to pay her mortgage. So uh, over a thousand dollars a month in wrap cash to pay her mortgage. Um, and so Product sales, if you have any products on hand, one thing that I do, if you guys can see this, I'll see if I can bring my computer around, but I've got this little thing, this little shelf. I got it, I think, from a garage sale, and I just painted it, and then I got all of these little cup holder things from the dollar store, and so I like to buy all of the on-the-go samples, and I will personally create a product sample bag for anybody who wants to try it before they buy it and I'll let them pick any five products for $20. And that is like going to the ATM. I want $20, I'm gonna post about a sample, a sample pack. And so on my auto shipment, I always make sure I get the on-the-go packs and then I just put them in those little containers and it's fun to do a live with it. Um, you know, people who say that, that they wanna try it, but, but are they gonna like it, whatever. Okay, so um, product cash is one of the ways that you guys can make money. Commissions is the way that we're gonna spend most of this call talking about. Commissions is you get paid on the customer accounts that are set up through your website or anybody in your downlines website or distributor orders, okay? So commissions is the residual income, the long-term money that you can count on, okay? And then the last way that we get paid is through bonuses. And anybody who goes Ruby this month, who joined this month, 
gets extra $300 bonus. We have fast start bonuses. That's when you help somebody on your team become a distributor and then they get six customers. You get $50 for every two customers that get enrolled through their website. Um, and then right now they have a diamond rank up bonus. Anybody in the whole entire company who goes diamond this month for the first time can earn an $8,000. Um, I think they're calling it a bank, a bank it bonus. Okay. Now there are terms and conditions and rules that apply to this. So you're a business owner to earn these bonuses. You have to make sure that you look in your e-suite under the document library and read the fine print, okay? I've had people miss out on bonuses because they didn't actually read what it entailed. But those are the three main ways that we get paid, cash, commission, bonuses, okay? Now, I like to make a lot of money, so I, I use all three ways. I don't just depend on my commissions. I don't just depend on my, on my product cash. I don't just depend on bonuses, okay? So I make money all three ways, and I'm aware of those ways, and I, and I um, post and talk about all of them. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, make sure that you unmute and ask or write them in the chat as we go. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to keep talking at you. So thumbs up if we're good so far. Okay, I'm not going to share my screen for this part, but I want you guys to hop over into your e-suite. Okay, and if you're watching the recording, you can still do this with me. When you um, leave the Zoom screen, you should still be able to hear my voice. Courtney, you're going to have to do this later because you're driving. Um, but... I want you guys to go to the top of your e-suite. So you're gonna log in and you're gonna click on commissions up at the top. Now, every month, about the 8th, 9th, they will send out a preliminary commissions. And pre preliminary commissions is what you can expect to get paid on the 15th. We get paid on the 15th of every month, our commissions check, and that is based on the work that we did last month. And so your pay period, for this paycheck goes August 1st to August 31st. Any customer or distributor orders that were enrolled through your website or underneath your organization somewhere, you get paid on September 15th. Okay, that's what commissions is. It's based on last month's orders, okay? Um, and so as you get in here, I'm gonna pull it up on mine, but like I said, I'm not gonna screen share because my business is my business, my paycheck is my paycheck, so you guys don't need to see that. But um, you guys can see on the period summary, it says start date and end date. Like I said, it started Saturday, August 1st, and it ended Monday, August 31st. It will tell you what you were paid as last month. Um, so mine says triple diamond, and if you lose rank, then you get paid on those levels. So ranking up allows you to get paid on more levels, which I will show you what those look like when we get into the compensation plan itself. So it tells you what you were paid as, and then it tells you what you earned, if there was any fees, and then the exchange rate, and then your total US dollar commissions, because I live here in the US, okay? Then down below, it says volumes. You have PBV, which stands for personal bonus volume. This is a combination of your own personal orders that you kept underneath yourself and any customers that you have underneath you. So my personal bonus volume in August was 125 because I ran an auto shipment and then I have one customer that is still ordering in my organization that's directly underneath me. And so it totaled 125 personal bonus volume. So that's what that number means. Now my group volume is a combination of all of the orders that are going on for all of the customers that are in anywhere in my organization and all the distributors that are anywhere in my organization. Every order that went through is your group volume. And depending on what level it's on, that is what you get paid on the certain percentage. Okay, so that's how you read that left-hand side. Now, the right-hand side breaks it down a little bit further. Most of you guys are distributors. And so when you come down to the level bonus and your levels, you'll see how much you're making on level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. Um, if you are a diamond or above, you'll see diamond bonuses, generational bonuses. If you're emerald, you'll see an emerald bonus. Um, some of you guys, if you have distributors underneath you, you might see an enroller bonus. Okay, that's just extra. That's paying you extra. Okay, so level one, two, three, four, five is your basic commissions. And then you'll see in there the different bonuses, you guys. And that's how I was able to maximize my paycheck is I said, whoa, what are these bonuses? How can I earn more on what I'm already doing? Okay, and so um, I want you guys all to click on level one. 
because I know everyone on here has a level one. Okay, and um, maybe not Perry Lynn, because you just joined um, at the very beginning of this month, so you didn't get commissions because you weren't part of the business last month, okay? So um, this is just gonna be good for you to watch the recording um, when you come back next month and you've got a paycheck, okay? But everyone click on level one, and that is gonna show you everything that you got paid on that level one. And so for me, my first order is a distributor, and my distributor is actually located on level four, but I got paid on her as if she was on a level one because of compression, okay? Um, and so it's gonna tell you everything that was paid on a level one, customer-wise and distributor-wise. And then you'll see over on the right-hand side how much they spent, and then what your commissions was. And so on this level one, you're getting 10% on everything that's a level one. Okay, if you have a level two, you can go ahead and click back. If you have a level two, you're gonna see that you get 10% on level twos. If you have a level three, you get 5%, a level four, you get 5%, and a level five, you get 5%. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, and then you have a pie chart down below that, that just breaks it up visually so you can see where the biggest chunk of your money's coming. Go ahead, Amber. So with the under the level one, that's supposed to be all the loyal customers that we got. Like within so my, my first 30 days I got my six. So is that where all six of them should be? Yes. Or is there a cutoff date where, where so they don't any get any loyal customers that ran an order from August 1st to August 31st should show up there. Okay. And so then the next ones will go for on September. next day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And that will be included with these ones as well. Yes, exactly. Okay. Because what's okay. nice about this. I'm confused. I'm like, wait a minute, where the hell they all go? <laughs> <laughs> right. And that's, what's so nice about this business is when you sign a customer, they're enrolled for at least three months. And so mm -hmm. you get paid on everything during month two that you did in month one, plus what you got in month two. And then month three, you get paid on everything for month one, everything for month two, plus what you get in month three. And then month four, you guys, I hope that, I'm glad you guys are on here so you can hear this. Month four is what is gonna make or break your paycheck. Are you taking care of your customers from month one so that way they keep ordering in month four, right? Are you making sure they're getting the results that they want? Are you making sure that they're using the product? Are you switching them so that way they can get hooked on some other things? And that was one thing that I noticed in my business when I first started is it was like, okay, I know that I've only had these customers for guaranteed three months. How can I keep them that fourth month and that fifth month and that sixth month? And I did have some customers that shut off after their third month, but I had customers that stayed. And so I didn't have to start over. I was able to continue to build and grow, build and grow because I took the time to really take care of those customers. And so one thing that I teach on my team is to have a customer sheet where you're writing down the date that your customer signed, what did they order, their ID number, their password, so that way each month you can say, hey, how are you liking your products? Are you feeling it? you're getting results? Do you wanna switch something up or keep things the same? Because guess what happens when you take care of them, they keep ordering. And then the other thing is that they send you referrals. They're like, oh my gosh, I ordered a works from another gal and, and I never heard from her again, but my girl Amber, she takes care of me and, she, and that customer is gonna send you referrals because you're taking such good care of them. And I get customers every single month. And in fact, my last customer that I just signed yesterday came from a referral. I didn't even have to close her. She's like, hey, I want the hair, skin, and nails. And I'm like, well, do you know how the customer program works? She's like, yeah, I've heard of it, but I'm good for whatever. I just want it. Thanks. And like, I didn't even have to sell her because she was already sold on this other girl that was a customer of mine because I take such good care of them. Okay. So um, let's go ahead. And now that you kind of see how commissions work, what I did at the very beginning of my business is I made sure that I checked this report every single month and I looked at where it was going down and where it was going up and I wanted to make sure that all of my numbers were going up. And so I looked at these reports individually to see where the money was coming from and I made sure that I took really good care of those customers. I made sure that I messaged those distributors and thanked them for their orders because I was getting paid on other distributors, auto shipments and personal orders. And I was making sure that I was helping my team take care of their customers so that way they would keep their customers longer. So it's just duplication, right? Teaching your team how to make this amount of money so that way you can make this amount of money. And then you teach your team how to make this amount of money so you can make that amount of money and it just keeps going up and up and up from there. Okay, so the next place I want you guys to go in your e-suite is if you click at the top on document library, 
And then um, it should show up at the top compensation plan or you can search for it. But I will share my screen on this part for you. Like I said, um, I was a, I, I joined this business because I wanted to make money. And so I needed to know how the compensation plan worked. So that way I knew what I had to do to ensure a paycheck. So you guys don't have to open this up on your phone. You can actually just um, show up on my Zoom and look at mine with me, but I wanted to make sure that you knew where to find it in your own. And I printed this off and I have it in a three ring binder in little page protector sheets. So that way, if anybody ever wants to know anything about the compensation plan or I do, I have a quick reference to it because I like old school paper pencil stuff. Okay, so here's the compensation plan. I'm going to just go through it in my own words so that way it makes sense to you guys. So when it comes to commissions, you guys can make commissions three different ways, retail customers, loyal customers, or distributors. Now retail customers, we don't really talk about a lot because we wanna get people locked into the loyal customer pricing three month program because that's where residual income is. A retail customer is someone who just orders one time. And so when you get retail customer orders, which I've maybe gotten three in the five years I've been part of the business, um, you make the markup of the price of the product. So for example, um, wraps retail for $99 and um, customers get it for $59. So on your commissions, you'll actually get $40 because that's the difference between the loyal customer price and the distributor or the loyal customer price and the retail price. So you would get 40 extra dollars on your commissions for this retail order of the wraps. Okay. Now what's nice is for retail sales fulfilled by the company, commissions are paid to the enrolling distributor, even if the distributor is not commission qualified. So you can always make your retail orders um, even if you don't have the commission or the volume to be commission qualified which we'll talk about that in just a second so um, that is retail customers like I said most people don't really promote it or talk about it because we want the loyal customers these are the ones who agree to purchasing at least one product a month for three consecutive months now my biggest tip you guys is if you are not using an upsell start using an upsell because the work that you have to do to sign a Thermofite X customer of 30 BB is the exact same work that it's going to take you to sign a package with Thermofite X and coffee and Confianza, you know, but this time you're going to get 90 BB or whatever it ends up being. And so I always upsell at the very end. I get all their information and I say, okay, I'm about to create your order right now. But a lot of my customers love throwing in X, Y, Z. You're going to be able to save this much. Do you want me to add this on as a one-time as a one-time special to this order? And I say, do you want me to add it in as a one-time special, even though it's going to put it on the auto shipment? Because next month I can message them and say, do you want to keep things the same or switch things up? And they're going to say, I want to keep things the same. And so it's going to keep that product pack on there. Um, even though I talked about it being a one-time order at the very beginning, but they're going to see results and love it. So just make sure with your loyal customers, you're always asking for that upsell at the very end. And then the last way that we get paid commissions is through our distributors. When distributors put in orders, you are going to make money on their orders as well. Okay. So um, those are the three ways that you're going to see on your commissions check on the 15th of every month. So we're gonna get into number one, you guys, step one in order to get paid is to be commission qualified. You need to have at least 150 personal bonus volume or you run an ADBB auto shipment. So I talked about personal bonus volume. That is the combination of any customers that are directly underneath you and any orders that you put in and don't move. And so um, I always run an ADBB auto shipment um, I don't, but when I first started and I didn't know what I was doing, I had this 150 volume coming from customers. And so, um, most of the time when you get your six customers to earn your shopping spree, you have the 150 volume. And so you're going to be commission qualified for at least a minimum of three months. Um, and then as you continue to get customers, continue to keep customers, that number just keeps going up and up and up. So honestly, you wouldn't even have to order anything and you'd be commission qualified and be getting money. Um, but I like to lead by example and I can't expect my team to do something I'm not willing to do. I can't expect my customers to do something I'm not willing to do. So if I'm trying to upsell on a customer pack 
of ADBV or more, then I need to make sure that I'm commission qualified on the ADBV or more every single month, okay? And then over here to the right hand side, you've got your definitions as far as what everything means, okay? So number one, you guys get commission qualified. My auto shipment runs on the first of every month. I wanna know in the comments, um, if you've been in the business longer than a month, when does your auto shipment run? Drop that number, drop that date. Now, why I think it's important to run it on the first of the month is because then you're able to rank up. I know for me, my goal is right now to be I'm paid as Ruby on the first of the month because I have that much volume underneath me, but eventually I wanna be paid as diamond on the first of the month, double on the first of the month. I know there's people in the business who are paid as triple diamond on the first of the month because they just have that much volume and you cannot rank up in your business until number one, you're commission qualified, okay? Um, then down here, for every two customers you get, you get something called a product reward. Um, and a product reward allows you to get discounts on your products. So we talked about product cash. Um, you can buy wraps and facials for half price. You can get coffee, um, energy sticks for half price. And then now they just added the sampler packs on there for half price as well. And so that allows you to get product in your hand for way less than what customers are paying. So that way you can turn around and make a profit with it. Um, in fact, you can buy a pack of four wraps for $25 and then you sell each one of those wraps for $25 and you just made a $75 profit. So um, it's a great way to make some extra cash. Any questions so far? I know I'm going through this fast. You guys are writing when your auto shipments are. I love that all of them are before the 10th, so good job, you guys. Courtney's saying first for hers. Good job, girlfriend. <laughs> Any questions so far, you guys? We've talked about being commission qualified and product rewards so far. Okay, Amber's good. Derek is good. Okay, go back in here. Um, okay, so for every two customers, you get this product reward, and that is always. Anytime you sign two customers through your website, you will always get a product reward. There's no limit on that. Okay, um, the next thing is, this is a bonus that you guys can earn in, it's called a fast start bonus. When you sign a new distributor, every two customers they get, you get a $50 bonus up to $150. Now these six customers have to be signed in their first 30 days. These bonuses pay out on Friday, so you don't even have to wait till the 15th to get these. Um, you sign two customers, it's gonna process that they have two customers on, on a Friday, and then the next Friday it's gonna pay it out. Um, and so they have to accumulate 150 personal bonus volume or process an ADBV auto shipment, and then every two customers, that's $50 for you, $50 for you, $50 for you. Now when they get all six customers, right now the promotion is they get a $150 shopping spree. So for me, I just say, let's get you six customers, that helps you win, you get $150 shopping spree, that helps me win, I get $150 bonus for helping you. And that's what I love about this business is both parties are winning when you're working together to help sign customers, okay? Now, if you already have your six customers and you have people in your organization who don't yet, you can enroll your customers through their website, so that way it counts for them. If you move it, if you enroll it through your website and then you move it underneath them, they get paid on the volume, but it doesn't count as a loyal customer for them towards their bonuses or towards your bonuses. So um, anytime I sign a new customer, I just go to the new distributor's website, enroll it underneath them, and then I let them know, hey, I signed a customer through your website, you know, her name is so-and-so, please don't ever contact her, that would be weird for you, weird for them, but I just wanted to help you get your six for your shopping spree. And um, you know, you won't ever take care of somebody else's customer, but, it's a way for you to be able to get paid as you're first starting your business um, if your upline is able to do that for you. And you know, sometimes your upline's having a, a booming month where they're signing tons of customers. Maybe other times they're not having a booming month. And so it's, it's ultimately your job to get your six customers, but if your team can help you, then that's what I love about this business, okay? Now here's where you can start climbing the ranks. So you've got commission qualified, you signed your first distributor, you're helping them get their six customers. In order to reach the top rank in the company, you need to have three legs. So three legs total takes you to the top of the company. Um, a qualified leg is when that leg has a total of 400 volume. So for you to go Ruby, 
or we'll start with executive because that's the first rank. Um, you need to have two legs underneath you, so two distributors that are qualified legs, which means 400 volume. So qualified leg has 400, qualified leg two, qualified leg one has 400, qualified leg two has 400, then you rank up to executive as long as you're commission qualified. And the purpose of ranking up, as you can see down here, you get paid on more levels. So as a distributor that's commission qualified, you get 10% on level one and 10% on level two. When you rank up to executive, you add on an extra 5% on level three. When you rank up to Ruby, you get an extra 5% on level four. When you rank up to Emerald, you get an extra 5% on level five. Plus you get something called the Emerald bonus, which gives you 2% um, commissions on everything that is on level six, infinite levels down, which is really incredible because most companies, they don't do that. They don't let you get paid on everything in your organization. And when you hit Emerald, you get that Emerald bonus, okay? Now, the last thing that people miss out on is all qualified distributors also earn that 5% enroller bonus. So when we were looking at our commissions and I told you there was that enroller bonus, you get an extra 5% on any customers that you enroll through your website and you get an extra 5% on any distributors that put in an order. And so instead of getting 10% on level one, most of you guys are getting actually 15% on your level one customers, okay? Instead of getting just 10% on your level two, any distributors that you sign that are on your level one or your level two, when they run their auto shipment or when they put an order, you're not just getting 10%, you're getting an extra 5% in there, so you're actually getting 15%. So that's how the commissions work. Um, I'm not gonna go into the diamonds and above for this call because I just want to keep it simple. So if you guys are brand new in the business, you need to understand the compensation plan pages one through five. That's all, one through five. And using this paired with the commission statement that's in your e-suite, things will start to click and make more sense. So um, one last tip that I'll give you is I used to do paycheck projections. This is the math nerd in me. Okay, um, I like to get the right answers on my math tests. Um, anybody else like math on here? Okay, Erica kind of does. So what I would do is I would do a paycheck projection. So I would figure out all of the volume that was coming on level one, all the volume that was coming on level two, level three, level four, okay, up until I went diamond. I would do a paycheck projection. And I would figure out how much volume I had coming from each place and then I would times it by 10% or 5%, and then I would just total it all up on the side. And then when preliminary commissions came out, then I was like, oh my gosh, I got it right, or I was off a little bit, or it was less than I thought, or it was more than I thought, and why is this? And I would be able to see my numbers, and then I'd be able to click on those different levels to see where I missed out on money or where I forgot to put something in. And that's what made me an expert on the compensation plan and really taught me to maximize it because now that I'm a triple diamond leader, I know how to squeeze out every penny. I know where to move my personal orders to, to maximize it so that I can make that extra 5% enroller bonus so that I can make sure that I'm ranking up or someone on my team is ranking up so that way they could take advantage of all the volume that is in their, um, in their organization because a lot of times people will spend hundreds of dollars to rank up and I'm like, why are you doing that? Your paycheck, you just spent more than your paycheck even is so that you could hit a rank when in reality you could have just stayed executive or you could have just stayed Ruby and you would have made more money instead of spent money. And if they're not things that you need, then why spend the money? You know, and then there have been other times where it's like, you know what? It makes sense definitely to get this box to 400 because I'm gonna be able to earn this bonus and be able to do this, that, and the other. So it's worth me spending $200 to be able to hit this promotion. So that way I'm not missing out on all this money everywhere because I'm gonna come out ahead by doing so. And so when you understand the compensation plan this way, you're able to make smarter decisions with your money, okay? So that's what I've got for you today. Um, I said I was gonna go till five o'clock my time. It's five o'clock right now, so I'll leave five more minutes. Are, does anybody have any questions or anything they want me to clarify? What is your preferred method of getting delivered? I know we have the card and you have your bank account and Venmo. What is your preferred way? I'm so glad that you asked that. Um, I recommend bank account for every single person. Um, and here's the reason why. With the It Works card, um, I've had people lose it before. And that is the biggest hassle, trying to get a new card. 
Um, and if you have like a dollar 27 left on that card, <laughs> you're not spending it. You're having to wait till payday. And I like to have all, like, I like to be able to utilize all of my money. And so when I started this business, I opened up a new bank account with Wells Fargo. Um, that's not who my family banked with before, but I opened up a business account with Wells Fargo. So all of my business money goes in there. And when I spend it with my debit card, I'm actually able to categorize it. This is for gas. This is for products. This is for food. This is for that. And so when it comes time for tax season, like everything that has to do with the business is just with that. And then the bank also protects your money if anything were to happen and you're able to earn interest as well. So that's my suggestion because it, yeah. I'm so glad you asked that because I wanted to talk about it and I forgot. So Melissa got the card to use with posts. That is the nice thing about the commissions card is you can use it like for posts and it's pretty. Um, but my commission or my Wells Fargo card has my bank or my uh, business name on it. And so, um, cause I have an LLC and so I'm able to use it, but yeah, I, it is cute for the post that you can make with it. That's for sure. I know like someone had asked about, um, like when you get paid. So a lot of times I think, um, before you can cash out, you have to have at least $50 in commissions. I think that's what it is. I think it's 20. I'm glad that you said that too. So if your first check is like less than $20, then it will actually just roll over into the next month. Um, and then you'll be able combined, be able to transfer it. So if your check is like $9 or $11 or something like that for your first commissions, maybe you joined at the end of the month or you didn't get customers or anything like that. If your check is less, yes, you have to wait until it's a certain amount and then it, and then you can transfer it all over. Thank you for mentioning that, Marlene. Shayla, I say direct deposit is the best way to go, but it is totally up to you. Thank you, Tamika. You're welcome. Courtney, did you want to ask something else? Um, you looked like your mouth was moving, but you were still muted. I was just saying that I got the card, but I like the uh, bank idea about you opening up a separate bank account. Yeah. I just think like when you start making a lot of money and, you know, for tax reasons and claims and stuff like that, it's just for me personally easier. Um, somebody said, how do you sign onto the A at Works Pay? So when you get your first paycheck, you'll get an email that says to activate your account. You cannot activate it prior. You have to wait until you have money in there. And then um, it might send out for a fast start bonus if you get that before commissions, um, but it will send you the activation through your email. Now it's really important that when you're signing a new distributor that you're getting the right email and putting it in because if you put the wrong email in, it is, it is a pain in the butt to try and get it fixed and get that um, activation email back to them. So be very careful when you're setting up accounts to make sure that you're putting in the right email address. And Erica, you are probably going to have problems with yours because you had signed up before. And so it's going to pay your old ItWorks account. And so they're going to have to transfer it to your new one. So when you go to set yours up, if you have anybody who's done the business before and gotten paid, it's kind of a headache getting them merged to the same one again, because your, um, your social security number got released with ItWorks, but not with ItWorks pay. And it's a separate entity. And so um, it's kind of a headache, but Mandy will help you or I'll be able to help you with that. Okay, yeah, Mandy had problems when she had moved a customer under me that it went to my old account instead of this one. So um, Mandy told me just to look to see if I have the email. And if I do, then to see if everything goes good. And if not, then we'll figure it out. Right. 
All right, you guys, I'm hopping off. I will get this um, recording uploaded and shared in the two groups that I posted the call in. And so that way you guys can um, rewatch it or share it with your teams. I hope this was helpful. Um, did we get $150 if one of your distributors has six customers? Yes, that is the fast start bonus. As long as you have upheld the terms that are in the compensation plan, you get $50 for every two that they sign. And once it gets transferred in your bank account, it's actually 49 instead of the actual 50. But um, yeah, just a dollar for a transfer fee. All right, you guys. See ya.